see we got lots of water and mud this morning so we are going to do our best to not fall in the mud if we do i guess that would be a good starting video so let's hope we don't. Hello folks, welcome to Crossright Homestead and today we're going to try to split a few pieces of wood. My son-in-law has gotten us this wood splitter. As you can see, it's used, but it's very heavy duty. I have not cut a single piece of wood with this machine, so this could be a challenge or an injury. I don't know. So. But as you can see, this thing is very heavy built. It's not one that you buy at your uh, big box store. So I don't know how well it's going to work. It may be the greatest wood splitter we've ever seen, or it may not. I don't know. So as you can tell, we have quite a bit of wood starting to stack up here. And uh, as we continue to clear more pasture area, we want to be able to sell this wood as firewood. It's going to be good dried cherry wood that people can use for their homes or campsites. And we want to be able to use that. So we're going to use this money to help turn around and put back into the homestead on fencing and things for the cattle and things around the, around the homestead. So today we're going to, we're going to fire this thing up. So hopefully everything goes well. If not, it may be nine fingers homestead when we're done, but let's, pray that does not happen so we're gonna give this thing a try first we're gonna see if it'll start then if it does we'll see if I can figure out how to operate this thing and if all that goes well we might actually get a piece of wood that is split by the time we're done so let's see how this thing will work so it appears like it's just a regular eight horse Briggs and Stratton pretty simple um, we're gonna put it over here on the choke Take it up to start. We'll see if this thing will start. went well everything seemed to work um, the lever stuck a little bit uh, so we might oil that up we don't want to have any safety concerns while we're running it but uh, it seemed to have plenty of power done a really good job so all in all I think it was a good buy I'm not sure what what he paid for this but uh, this homemade piece of equipment right here just did that with no trouble at all so we got a lot of work ahead of us to cut but uh, 
at least we broke this in today we know it works we know it's gonna work we know we'll be able to resell this wood as split ready to use firewood rather than selling it to somebody that has to do some work when they get it so we know that works so we're going to uh we're going to continue to do this in some future videos and do some other things but that's what we have today at least we got to get out here a little bit of sunshine do a little bit of wood splitting and not break our back using a maul or an axe so hey this is a blessing so hopefully you uh like and subscribe to these videos um, we want to continue to do this for you we'll have different videos different topics and uh whatever comes up it may be hunting fishing cutting trees hunt. it may you may be cooking i don't know but whatever we do we'll be sure to share it with you we hope that you comment uh on our videos and uh enjoy your day thank you for tuning in we're going to take you along with us and show you a little project that we're, we did to build us a cow feeder because it's 31 degrees out here and it's not sunny and warm and 70 like it looks like. 31 and cold. Making hay feeder out of what we have just laying around. And then back up to there and see if you can draw the camera back. We'd like to take you for a little walk down on our property and let you see what it looks like. Please enjoy our walk.
got to finish off the day with getting the Angus's some clean, fresh water. hope you enjoyed that banjo and a little bit of guitar music that was by my cousin Daryl Barnett from Arkansas hey folks as we get ready to close out this video we want to thank you for tuning in and watching I know we've only done a couple um, things are gonna get better as we go we're gonna learn the tricks of the trade how to hold the camera what to do what to say how to stay uh, keep you engaged in things and we're gonna get better but we thank you for tuning in and you know we have everyday lives like everybody else I work in a factory and at church and my wife helps elderly folks and does things around the community and we're busy our kids are all grown so we do have time after that to come out here and do things and I encourage you if you the world's beating you up this week and things are going rough get outside get some fresh air get some sunshine when it comes and just enjoy what you've been blessed to have. We live in a great country here in the United States, and we are blessed to be here. And uh, just get out and enjoy uh, what the creation has, what God has created for us. And we uh, we just want to thank you for watching and uh, encourage you to just stay strong and continue to push through those tough days. And, you know, this, this kind of time of year, it's snowing one day and sunny the next, as you see in our videos. It can be can be depressing so continue to push through those things and find joy every day that you can and we thank you and uh, again and pray you have a great day